Welcome to Empire Buzz Rampant, and welcome back to my Tamarcon campaign for Warhammer 3, where we're going to continue we left off from the last time in the Mortal Empires. Well, right now, Tamarcon is continuing on his wall path, slowly but surely still trying to make his way over to Nome. Uh, I know I'm giving up on him getting the Nemesis Crown, but I did have a couple of name suggestions, and the new army that I was making, I actually decided to give him one of them. So it's now John the Unclean. I'm going to try and make you into a... Uh, army that is essentially going to be all demons and you're going to try and turn you into a great unclean one. So we'll have to try and fill this army up with uh, probably a bunch of Nurglings and other things. We have got some like really good big heavy hitters here so now we just need some fodder to kind of like hold down enemies essentially. Uh, but I'll try and get you some heroes. I'm going to try and see if I can get you the Nemesis Crown and then see if I can actually make sure that you are properly a uh, great unclean one before the end of the, the, the campaign. That's what I'm hoping at least. So we're going to keep doing that. And then uh, we did have, yeah, so there was that name suggestion that I switched over. And then I think there was something else I put into uh, the Reddit CEO's army. Or it was, I renamed you to Man Thing and you to Three Rats in a Trench Coat. And then I also named this thing a Radiation Machine. It was Radiation was the name suggestion, but I decided to have it be Radiation Machine on you guys. Because I think it sounds a little better. So you guys right now, you're almost here. Almost here. I'll have you just do normal movement because you'll be able to get there next turn. Next turn, you'll be able to start trying to set sail over there. And then I think I had, it was like another name suggestion that I added in over here. It's on Rumail. No, it wasn't on Rumail. It was on, yeah, so it was over here. So I just did, made it on Plankton's Legions. So we've now got all of that. You guys will continue trying to conquer down here for us. Uh, just so we can keep getting a bit more money. So you guys keep doing that. That way I can have it so the Tamarcon is going to just keep beelining a straight for uh, Unknown. We have to still get some Lizardmen kills. So we still do have to fight some Lizardmen. So basically I'll be pushing on in here still trying to deal with UN Bo's faction. But then after that we're going to start trying to hit Mazda Mundi a little bit. Does look like they have um, some land over on the Donut. So we'll possibly be having it so that we try and go hit you guys a little bit as we make our way over. I don't have to fight the Dark Elves, so we're not going to, because we almost have all the fealty we needed. We just need a little bit more, which we'll get from our fights. Yeah, because let's see. So for right now, we'll spread more plagues. Beautiful. Oh, I don't like that you were killed. And yeah, that was one of you guys. Oh, no, you no, you got over it in time. Yeah, because you, you spread that plague like I wanted you to. So that's good there. Um, okay, so now, essentially, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to want to go about this. Because this is all Skaven over here. So it looks like this is all Skaven. That's probably also Skaven. So I think the Skaven control all of this. And then everything else is everybody else. So I need to have it so. I wish I had a stance to just, like, jump over here. But I do not. So we'll just have to make my way forward. Start trying to push on in. We'll go up this way, get rid of you guys, and then we'll start trying to push on into these dwarves. So that way we can get rid of Katep's crap down here. So, all of you... I think I might have it so that Mr. Clean... Um, uh, there's not an area to like disembark there yet, so you can just group up with everybody else, essentially. So you guys are all moving up in, uh, in tandem. Um, also, we get stuff from raiding, too. So if you guys have enough stances, or enough movement... I can have you guys go into raiding stance to also try and get this up a little bit faster. Then I do need to make sure that I now will start trying to keep these areas. I'll now actually start trying to build them up a little bit. I do need to have it so uh, before I forget I use up all my money. Let's see. Try and see an area that I can recruit spot. Uh, you can get... Yeah, I'd, I'd basically probably only get these guys. So if we grab... Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be perfect. But I should have grabbed you beforehand, but yeah, no, that'd be... That'll work well if you lose any of those guys. But you... And... Let's go with you. You two will be joining on up with John the Unclean's army. So you'll join on up over here, essentially, and try and join his army so that he's got a little bit more... And then I need to fill his army up with... I think that's good for heroes. I don't think we'll need anything else. But yeah, you guys will make your way over here. Because I don't think we're going to need to grab a sorcerer. I think we'll be okay. So you guys can go with that. Resumes of Renown. I kind of want to get you some Plague Bears. Like, I, I haven't been using Plague Bears a lot. Also, yeah, because I haven't been using these unit types a lot. So I want to try and give you guys that. I could also give you these. I could also do that. Um, I still think, yeah. Let's get some, like, Exalted Plague Bearers. Also, like, okay, what has bonus versus large for us? 
I don't think we have many things that have bonus versus large. You guys do. You guys do. Yeah, we do not have a lot of things that have bonus versus large. Because I know if we're going to be fighting Cav in the form of Lanker, I probably want to get some of that. But I feel like having just some Nurglings to fill out the roster a bit more wouldn't be bad. A Roar Shrine, just so we have some sort of healing besides you. Um, that gets us up to 15, so we have three more slots. Um, I would say let's just get some Exalted Plague Bears. Uh, let's grab you, and then I can grab this one. There we go. And actually, I probably should have had it so that we could do is I get the Regiment of Renown Nurgling too, actually. So put that in there. You then just need your heroes, and then I will start trying to make you move down here, and you now need to start trying to help out. And somehow... You have to beat Leonker. That's going to be a tall order, uh, because I don't have a lot of XP on you just yet. But, we'll try. We'll, tr we'll try and see if we can do that. Uh, I do want to try and get another plague over here. And then I'm going to specifically... Yeah, let's go with you, melee defense. And like... Yeah, reduce speed. Putting that onto a army of Bretonians is not a bad idea. So, I'll put that on to, uh, well, summon a cultist here. Summon a cultist there. And then you start heading out. I'm going to specifically have you go, like, harass uh, Landgar. So, you'll try and do that. You, I have to wait until I get my heroes. So, you can just try and sit, sit here for right now, at least. You know, you kind of turn back around for right now to get them. But, grab those guys. You do kind of keep scouting. I'm just kind of curious what's all controlled over here. Looks like most of this is... Oh, no, there's still some High Elves in here. Still a little bit. I know. Tamarcon. Yeah, you can get on up here. You should be able to hit this area this turn. I don't have enough to sack and... Occupy, do I? I can just loot and occupy it. I'd like the extra money, though. Yeah, loot and occupy it. Because I need that extra cash to keep building up my territories. There we go. Let's get you some defenses. And then I'll get the control building here. There we go. So, you'll be good there. Next area we're going to go for, I'll probably go up here. I'll probably go to the Shrine of Sotek next, because I'm going to ignore, like, the rest of you guys. That's what you guys are all for, essentially, is trying to push on in down this way. Let's see. More plague spread. Love it. Okay. So now we should be able to have it so... There seems plague. Oh, no! <laughs> Uh, you were wounded. You were one in, yeah, in Rumo's army. Ah, oh, they enacted their stupid fucking, uh... Okay. So, go into Encanto's hands. They enacted their sandstorm thing and then wounded one of my guys. You can get over here to the Golden Colossus area, though. So do that. I need to actually kill these armies because they keep just wandering away from me. So, for right now... And kind of move up a little bit. I'm not at war with these guys just yet, but I'm just going to try and chase this guy. I'm going to try and chase this guy down here, so you'll keep going down to this spot, because I do need to hit that. I'll leave uh, Mr. Clean and Zorgul over here to deal with these guys. And then I should now be able to move the Reddit CEO over here. Yep, so you can now join on in. You'll be sent over in two turns. There you go. And then Tamarcon. Ooh, I actually could have you go hit this stuff this way first. I'm kind of tempted to, but also... Oh, yeah, there's you and Bo again. I could just go kick his ass once more. I think I'm going to. So, yeah, it's like, it's like, let's make my way over here. And then hit his spot again. There we go. Because his other regions should be pretty weak, so I don't think I'll have to worry too much about them. I don't think we have enough to sack and occupy, but we can just loot and occupy. Would occupy that. Get me... Oh, there's a resource around here. Damn. Um... Recurring pub. Uh, I'm still gonna want that for the money. Get the public order stuff for right now. Get the public order stuff for there. You can keep upgrading this stuff for more public order around there. You guys have already all moved. Then I need to go back on up here. And get you guys into this army. So if I move to about here... Be able to get you guys into here a little sooner. So, like, right there. And then, uh, you can't get to there this turn. Oh, no, you can. Just be really, barely. 
Okay, so now we need to figure out how we're going to want to have you help out around here. So I could try and... You say, give me all this. I think I might want to try and hit a different spot. Because if we, like, go up here... I just need to beat Lancur and get the Nemesis Crown, and then I can start being a fucking disgusting beast. But I need to have it so... I would like to have a second army help out. Because... If you were higher level, I wouldn't be as worried. I do have a lot of, like, stuff in here, but I still think I need to get you a little bit higher level. So we'll start turning you around over this way. You're going to still keep trying to harass them up here. I could try and borrow, um... I don't have a lot of points with you. Throg, I've got 34 points with. I've got 30 with you. I've got 30 with you. So I'm not going to be able to really borrow an army around here. Okay. I think we'll have to just try and hope. Actually, I could try and at least do this. So, set target, attack target. Let's try and get you guys to attack Leonker. <laughs> so I'm going to tell all three. You actually are fine. You're fine as you are. I'm not going to give you better orders. But these guys, well, actually you, um, occupy target here. Turn occupy that. I'll see if you guys select those orders and fully go through with them. If you do, I can kind of determine where I'm going based on that. Because I'd prefer to help you guys out and kind of like make a breach, keep pushing on in with you. And then, uh, you again. Yeah, just keep scouting. Because at the moment it looks like, yeah, so this is all the scaven stuff. I don't mind you guys. I actually kind of want to ignore you guys alone around, uh, for the most part. Yeah, it looks like for the most part, yeah, like, we've got Marathi over here. You guys have actually got quite a bit over here. So I, I don't want to fight you. We don't need to fight you. As we're trying to make my way over towards uh, Nuln. I do need to keep, I'll, I'll keep going back around and keep uh, building my economy on my own. Let's see, are you guys actually fully going through with those orders? Um, let's see, burst of growth. I would say, yeah, get the additional growth. Go with that. And then, so they are moving towards the settlement there. Let's see, are they doing anything else? No. Okay, so only one of you really fell follow through, so I think I will be helping try and push in through here. Because we need to get uh, John the Unclean some experience anyways. So let's have you try and make your way here. We're going to help out the forces of... Um, oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, who's, who's this one again? I always forget uh, who controls this faction. Uh, Dresel? No, Astrogoth. Astrogoth is the one. So we'll help out Astrogoth down around here. Try and help him push into Cathay. That way we can try and get some power for John here uh, as he makes his way up towards Leonker. Okay, you keep trying to make your way up here. I'm trying to have you, like, spread plague specifically to Leonker. Because that's an army that, like, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about, like, uh, me fighting him solo when he has so many buffs there. Tamarcon! Let's see. So for right now, Tamarcon, I can hit one city, and I'm going to start trying to hit you guys. So we'll start this war with you, because for right now, I need to now start hitting some Lizardmen, and hitting uh, Mazda Mundi here will be a great way to kind of do that. So let's fuck them up, um, and then I will just... I did not have enough to sign up, I just occupy it. Because that way, now we have it so... Ooh. So I'll just give yeah, just more uh, relations with them. Perfect. But yeah, we'll just have it so we'll keep trying to make my way through here. Because basically, we'll just kind of burn this area down a bit. Uh, I know right now, let's see, so... You're not recovering much. I need to kill these armies. Mr. Clean should be able to easily get rid of you. Because it's only like how many of these little armies are around here. Just running around being nuisances. So we need to try and get rid of you, get some replenishment. And then let's see, Zorghul, I think I can try and have you go after this guy. So, yeah, so go over here. You can go after these guys. Rumil is still going to keep following around and try and get rid of you first, because they they don't they have a the, most of their elite units have been killed, which is great for us. Mister Clean, I'll have you try and chase after this guy. So chase after him. Hopefully get rid of those guys. Uh, CEO the Red CEO's army should be over here uh, next turn, I believe it was. So he'll be here soon. Rank ups here. Let's see. So, Mr. Clean. I don't have your thing here just yet, so let's keep going down here. You've already maxed those out. 
Um, let's get some more charge bonus for you. You, oh, you don't need to have training. Um, damn it. it. Fuck, okay, that's fine. It's just a one point. Uh, let's have you get some more leadership there. You, Reddit CEO. I actually cannot select right now, so I can't get you your rank up right now. That's fine. Yeah, at the moment, it looks like pretty much... I'm trying to see where it ends. Because it looks like... It looks like Mazda Moody controls like this side. It looks like he controls like this side of the donut. That's Bellicor there. Yeah, that's Bellicor over there. Which, uh, do I have an alliance? I, I haven't talked to Bellicor much. I've been able to get a lot of the other forces of chaos uh, on my side. But I haven't been able to get Bellicor on my side. Let's see. Do I technically know of him yet? Yeah, I do. He's kind of indecisive. Some call me the I can get a non-aggression pact with you, at least. So pact. I'll do that. Because it wouldn't be bad to start trying to talk to you. Decadent Host is still alive. Uh, you guys don't really want much, though. But you do like... Yeah, my war with Corone. You guys like that right now. So that's good. Here comes Rakoth once more. That's fine. I'm gathering my forces together, and uh, he got absolutely his ass whooped by Tamarcon. So we'll be able to try and uh, have it so that once we can gather together all my forces, we'll push him back. Uh, keep pushing on up north with all of my men. Because at this point in time, we're, it, basically this campaign's almost done. And I'm still hoping I can get a great unclean one before we finish this campaign. I'm hoping we can. Um, basically, we're just trying to have it. So yeah, Tamarcon is making his way over. You can hit that. It's fine. Um, Tamarcon's making his way over towards Nome. Trying to see if I can get the Nemesis ground. And then, essentially... Let's see. So, Ally mobilizes his against Settlement, finally. He's not there anymore. I was trying to have you attack Ta uh, Leon Kerr himself, but... That's fine. Okay. Because back over down here... Mr. Clean, yeah, you can easily finish this army off. Mr. Clean's army might be strong enough on his own, actually, to be able to take out Rakarth himself. Because, at the moment right now... Let's see, so... Get rid of them. Get the replenishment. Let's see. So... Oh, uh, that'd be tough. You're here, though, now. So let's have you now. Uh, let's take you up here. I'm curious what this is. What is this? There we go. Let's see. So... Eh, we can have you guys... With the carcass. Should be a small... Uh, these. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just want to try and get you some experience. There we go. So, yeah. Beat those guys back. And then you'll be making your way up here. Let's see. 8,000 gold. There we go. Yeah. Keep making your way up here. So, Rumilm. You're almost here. You should be able to hit these guys next turn. Then we'll have this spot. So, cool. Yeah, these guys are force marching their way away from you. As long as they're running away, it's not that big of an issue. But I can have you go up here, try and chase them. And then I can also have you go for uh, the Great Turtle Isle afterwards. So you can do that. Then we can have it so that, for right now, let's see. Tamarcon. Yeah, you can hit this guy. Where's Mazda Mooney himself? Come on, I want to fight the big man. Because let's get rid of you. So we can easily get rid of you guys. And do I have enough movement to hit the city as well? I do! And then we'll uh, loot Nocky by this. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're just basically trying to get a shit ton of money with uh, Tamarcon, essentially, as he's making his way over. Let's see. Get some defenses. Get the public order and the growth building. There we go. Yeah, because you're just making... You've made a wonderful path so far up here. Because I'll probably have it so... I want to hit Mazda Moon, dude. I just don't know where the hell he is. Because I want to hit him before we leave here. I can't remember what his trait is. But basically, you're going there. I know John the Unclean. Yeah, you keep making your way down this way. Because it looks like, with the help of my allies... Yeah, you're, you're starting... You're weakening them. So I might be able to push on in through this section. If you keep weakening them like that for me. So I'll keep trying to run on over here. My dude with the plague. Had to spread it to the settlement around there. Lancur looks like he's going to stay around down here for right now. Let's see. Dipsy in charge. Mr. Clean. 
I would say for you, um, yeah, we should get you a lightning strike. Try and get that more leadership there. You can get more weapon attack, and then let's see. Oh, again, I'm gonna keep trying to upgrade the big guys because that's what you guys have got in this army. Uh, get some more training there. Still can't get this yet. I'll actually have you get increased mobility for right now. Yeah, Leprosa just keeps scouting here. Because it does look like, yeah, it looks like Bellacor. He's got the other half of the donut. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so, like, I'll just have you basically kind of keep doing this loop. And then I've now got a ton of money to upgrade more stuff. Which, at this point in time, I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to run out of things to upgrade to give me money. No, Kugath, I will help you out here. Because I think what I'll probably be doing is I'll have it so I'm going to use John the Unclean to try and help out that force. Because I'll have him keep kind of going down. I want to have him help out against Kislev and Drycha. Trying to basically have him kind of gather some experience from them before he goes to try and fight uh, Leonker. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the Nemesis Crown before uh, Tamarkon gets to Nuln. Because essentially, I'm trying to have it so that Tamarkon just keeps pushing over towards Nuln, taking whatever cities are in the path. And I'm not trying to have him, like, purposely delay himself. But, like, at this point in time right now, he's... <laughs> I probably should have just gone the west, to the west. If I went westward, we would have finished up sooner. Because as soon as this campaign finishes up, I know we're going to go back to uh, Epidemius. Finish up his campaign. And if we don't have any more information on the next deals... <gasps> Telemann of Pestilence! Hell fucking yeah! Good job, guys! Speak of the fucking devil! You got the nemesis crown, my boy! Now don't die and lose it! Ah, oh, please don't lose it, my man. Okay, that you know what? I'm pretty happy if Epidemius is the one that has the crown now. That's perfect. I love it. I love that one of you guys actually fucking won that. Let's see, so you're CG Mr. Clean. Let's see. Yeah, Mr. Clean's gonna take you out pretty easily. Get rid of you without an issue. Oh, I love that. Hey, at least somebody of Nurgle has the Nemesis Crown now. I may not have it myself, but at least my boy Epidemius does. Uh, but I was trying to say, yeah, if we don't have any more information on um, the next DLC yet. Because, I, again, I don't want to try and... Because after Epidemius, if I don't, if we don't know what the next DLC is, or like when it's going to be released, I mean, um, if we don't know that yet, I will probably still go with a Old World Map Mod campaign. But I'm worried about the bot breaking again, and I don't want that. So I'm hoping that we'll have more information soon. Um, so that way I can know whether or not I'm going to just try and do some campaigns with them, or if I'm going to try and do some campaigns uh, in the Old World map mod. Because I still fucking love that mod so goddamn much. And it's honestly like one of my favorite ways to play Warhammer 3 right now, for sure. Oh, the Katep was pushed down here. Okay. That was his entire faction. I see. Okay, well, let's try and get you... Need you to kind of dis yeah, disembark, start recovering around here. You guys will finish off for Karth. Then I'll probably turn you guys back around for a second. We'll kill these dwarves. And then we'll keep making my way up. Uh, oh, there's Mazdamundi! I want your trait, man. So, let me go here, because I think what's going to happen is uh, you're going to hit this area and I'm going to lose it. So Tamarcon, sit here for a turn. Get some replenishment. I'll have you hit Mazdamundi. Then we keep pushing towards Null. I at least want the traits before I leave these areas for sure. Yeah, Mr. Clean. Actually, there's only five guys here. You can take this back right now. You're beat up, but you can still replenish and get that. take that pretty easily. There you go. Pair of that. You should get the growth building here. Or the public order one. I say the public order one. Get the public order building there. For that area. So, you can do that. And then who have I not moved yet? So, yeah, Reddit CEO. You can make your way up here. And then, how many turns until I get that hero back for Rumil? One more turn. Perfect. So, he'll be back in one more turn. Mr. Clean. Uh, yeah, you should keep getting the... Lightning Strike stuff. Deadly Blade. 
I think you at this point. Oh, actually, I can straight up now to start trying to. Okay, I'll get sprite control first, but then I'll put you on auto manage. Card here, more deadly blade for you. Uh, Rumel. I need you to get some more bonuses for yourself here. Bob Plankton, I need you to upgrade your spells. Uh, let's get you deadly. Some more blades there. I want to make sure I get more of your stuff here. There's actually a lot of individual unique stuff you get here, which I do need to get. Zorgul. Keep upgrading the blue line a little bit. You've already got those all maxed out. Weapon damage. Let's see. Weapon damage. Melee attack. Guy with Steak. Guy with Steak can just get rid his spells a little bit. You've already got all your unique ones up here. Uh, you almost are fully maxed out at this point, where I can put you on auto manage as well. Testaments again. You're just kind of scouting here, just so we have an idea of like who controls what right now at this point in time. And then Leparos, the same deal, because it looks like for the most part, like Bellicor has got the entire eastern side of the donut. Oh, okay. He oh, only has three, ter four territories. Not as much as I thought he did. Oh, it's not Maz and Moody first. I thought they were going to be hitting that city down south first, but okay, yeah, they can take that back if they want. That's fine. They sacked it. Yeah, so he actually, Maz and Moody didn't do anything around there. Interesting. Hi, Rakarth. No, I'm not giving you peace. Not, oh, you're offering me 10k, though. I could have taken that and then just hit you again. Although my reliability would have tanked. But, at least now, uh, we have it so that, like, all my other army, I've got four armies down around there. They should be able to easily, yeah, help finish off Rakarth. I just want to get Mazda Moody's trait. What is his trait again, anyways? I think it's related to casting. Is it for the army, or is it for just the lord? Because that's a good question. Number three defeat traits. Uh, fuck you. Well, I can spawn a quick little army over there to try and kill that little shit. Let's see. Recruiting costs for good and clean ones. That would have been great when I was recruiting them. Um, I grab a guess, grab a hero, I guess. Let's do another one. Okay, so over here, fuckers. What do you got? It's a bunch of shit. Just recruit a random lord. Random lord filled with random shit. Let's do. Let's see, what are you, you guys are all... Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. So, um... Meet Doomstack of fucking Toads. Just plague Toads of Nurgle. This entire fucking stack of these guys. You're ready for duty there. Yeah, what is... Lizardmen? Mazda Mundi... Leadership aura size. Ah! Uh, okay. I, I guess, yeah. We can try and get that. Wait, no, you need to yeah, try and make your way back over to Rumel. Let's have you. Let's see. No way. I don't serve you. Rumel's been able to release Replenish a little bit. Um, let's have you. Ambush dance. Try to see something right there. Sit there for a second in ambush chance, because you might be able to just jump this guy. Might be able to jump that guy. You see plague? Oh no. Okay. Let's now start trying to make my way over here to properly finish you off. Let's see, where's my border end and there's begin? So like right here? Nope. I misjudged that. Let's go back a little bit. No, still not close enough. That's fine. I think we'll still have plenty of health. Um let's see. Yeah, actually be able to get over there sooner. So go over this way. You two together will be fine over there. You'll be good there. As to Mundi. Hey, hey! He's still right next to me. Oh, I can't hit him right now. Damn it. I want to hit Mazda Mundi. Because I might just hit Mazda Mundi and then I'll just run away from here. We still need to get um, 13 more battles with Lizardmen. So we still need quite a bit more until we have got that fealty. But at least right now that is something... How much do the okay so here's now normal elves again. So yeah, Master Moody controls somewhere around over there. That's kind of interesting. That's what I was expecting. Uh, more defense here for you. 
This is the new so. agent. All of you also start scouting around down here. And I think John's almost in position. So he's, yeah, right here. There we go. Yeah, there. Now you guys are properly pushing on in. Okay, so now I'll start helping out. And I'm just going to be selling this land off to you guys. I'm not going to really be controlling or trying to control this stuff. Also, I love how my boy is still alive. He still has the Nemesis crown. Okay. If Epidemius has it and keeps it, I'm very okay. Actually, could I confederate his ass and get it that way? I could! I fucking could! Um, but I'm going to be playing as Epidemius literally once we finish this campaign. I'm going to leave him to have the Nemesis crown on his own. I could confederate his ass, though, to have the Nemesis crown myself with him. But then, like, what's the point of me do not uh, of doing the Epidemius playthrough, then, if I do that? Like, it's slightly different, but, like, also... God, I don't know. Should I even do... Should I even continue the Epidemius playthrough, I wonder? I'm curious. I might actually do a poll on that on my, on my Discord... Or on my community tab and see, like, hey... Who still wants me to complete the Epidemius playthrough, or should I just... Uh, I don't like abandoning campaigns, though. I really don't. Um, I could just see myself being like, okay... If I... Like, I have, like, hey, I have a perfect opportunity to confederate his ass right now. Get him, and then I have him with the Nemesis crown. Which I find fucking... Uh, you know what? Actually, fuck I'm gonna literally make this the poll right now during the end turn. Oh, there we go. Now I can suck it. You guys like me. So I did I did literally make the poll before I continued with the end turn. Um, so basically I have two options for confederating uh, epidemies and two options for not. And I'll have to see how that goes. Because at the moment right now, it'll probably be fine. It, uh, we'll figure it out basically by the next video uh, what I'm going to actually do with that. If I am going to confederate him or not. Because I'll have to see. Because I still think like it'll, it, it'll be fun to do play as epidemies. Because I will have a very different play style of Nurgle than I am right now. And so, I, I I don't think it's a bad idea. No, you fuckers, you stole it away from him! How dare you! Well, at least it's not in Leonker now, thank god. Um, so he was like around here, you don't have it. So they sealed it away. Is it sealed away permanently? Or can it come back? Please tell me it can come back. Okay. Um, hi. It's a lot of fuckers. I was hoping you make your way towards Room Mill. Um. Making your way up here. No way. Tommy's not the worst. Um, I think what I'll do is, uh, I'm gonna put you over here. Put you over here for right now. So I'll have you do that. Because I'm going to want to try and make my way over and get rid of these dwarves anyways. First and foremost, though, I need to remember to first see... There's one of my guys. No. We're not losing my guys. And then Zorgul. You get over here. I actually might need to have it, so... Are you going to be in range if you're down here? I think you will be. No, still isn't. I have to have you be the one sieging it one night. No, never. No, let's just let's just do this ourselves. So I'll just have it so that, uh, well, Zorgul, you'll be able to get on up here in a second. But yeah, let's just fight this ourselves because I don't want to lose my name, dudes. We're not losing the Plague Crusaders. Do you guys have walls? I'm assuming you do. Because that's probably the main reason why they say, yeah, this would be pretty bad for you. They do have a decent amount of skirmishers though, too. They do. Yeah. So let's let's fight this ourselves. Yeah, because I know for a fact when I go back to my Epidemius campaign, um, I will gladly be having it. So I'm going to mainly use a lot of demons. I'm not going to use any mortals, really, um, for that campaign. I do think uh, some of the saved lords that I'm going to save in this campaign, I will gladly reuse in the Epidemius campaign. Mainly the guys that are uh, the demons. So I think Zorgul I'll bring back in the Epidemius campaign when I can recruit him. And then I think basically also John the Unclean, I think, too, could be another one that would work as well. 
Because I know for sure I'm going to be... Because uh, he has a lot of bonuses for, like, spreading plagues. So I'll go with that spray uh, plague spreading bonus version first, where I get the money and the uh, vision over plagues. And really have that be, like, the main way I'm trying to do things with Epidemius. Um, and you have a lot of demons. I think it'll be kind of a, a very different play style, which I think will kind of be kind of cool. As right now, it's like, that's what, been just a couple minutes. It's not a full view of, like... What's going on? So far, eight votes so far. Uh, not a ton. Um, most are, at the moment at least, still saying, hey, just go with the original plan. Which, I was originally really wanting to confederate him because he had the Nemesis crown. I'm hoping they didn't... Is it sealed forever, is the question. I don't know. I don't know if the Nemesis crown can come back after it's been sealed once. Um, I've, I've never seen it come back. But then again, usually... This is the first time I've seen it sealed. Because when I grabbed it, I held on to it for fucking ever. I never sealed it. And so, I wonder if it'll actually come back at some point. There we go now, though. Let's see, so now we're in here once again. So let's get all of my guys grouped up. Get you guys all grouped up and ready to start trying to push on in here. Actually, you two should be grouped together. I forgot about that. So, you two being your own little group. Because I want to have it so the shrines are together. And then I think uh, where we're attacking right now, let's adjust over here a little bit more. Because then we don't have any as many towers. Although, let's see. There's the same amount of trees on each side. You guys right here. Because basically I want you guys like, yeah, just break down the gates for us. I'll get the rest of my army over here. Start the battle. Start the plummet. Yeah, you guys break down that gate for me. Actually, maybe break this wall section since there are people literally on it. Because you guys should be able to break that section. Are you guys missing? Yeah, some of you guys are hitting trees. Move forward. That's what I was worried about. Okay, so let's move out of the tree line. Now, hit the wall. There you go. Much better, yeah. So break down that fort wall. Break that down. And then I can have it so we can also try and... Maybe specifically actually try and hit the guys. Because I think you'll do... You'll still do damage to the section. But you'll get more damage onto, like, skirmishers. Try and see with that. Yeah, you're still damaging them. And then can you guys break walls? Yeah, you guys can break walls. So you guys can just start trying to break walls down there. Let's see. Skirmishers. Keep focusing them down with the cannons. Yeah, if you guys start trying to break down some... Oh, there's more. Those are shades. Yep, I was wondering where those shits are. Yeah, you guys pull back. Pull back. Further back. Let's so everybody get skirmish mode off. Yeah, you guys try and hit them. I could at least now try and have it so at least you guys try and break down the gate. As we're kind of damaging it a little bit. Lost sight of the shades there. This section's already almost da broken here, so we can try and break that section. That'd be great. Cargan, you should get in melee with those shades. Oh, fly, man. Take flight. Hit the shades. There we go. Get in melee with the shades. So you can hit them there. One section just broke. Now I'm going to have my infantry try and push on in through that area. You can actually kind of go on in there too, possibly. Yeah, I have you guys up here. Cav, I think you guys break down the gate. And I'll try and get my shrine up here as well. Yeah, let's start trying to hit skirmishers. And then Mr. Clean, get a little closer. Because now we just need to start trying to cast on in here. And make sure that I'm healing everybody. Yeah, You guys specifically target skirmishers. Or actually, maybe I should have you hit the Black Dragon. Maybe? No, you're fighting here. You need to pull back. Let's try and... Get some damage reflection on you, so you can get some healing overall. They're trying to have my infantry. You guys are trying to just push on in this way. You try and fight those skirmishers. Karin's getting some healing. Yeah, shrines are getting on in here. You guys would go over here specifically be with the infantry. Okay, you're getting your ass kicked by those dragons, so let's pull you away from there. Gates are almost down. 
Yeah, we need to deal with this dragon here. Yeah, keep hitting the skirmishers, because those are the most important units. I don't have any other skirmishers in range I can shoot besides that one there. Okay, we'll just start trying to bring the infantry in here. Did you guys start pushing on in this way? Oh, uh, the dragon, that one's, yeah, that one's now fighting Cargan. So now, it's actually in a spot I can shoot. So let's try and do that. Let's try and have you uh, debuff that dragon just to get more healing on the army. I hate that you're mounted so I can't have uh, you get up on the walls here. I can kind of have you help out go against the Lord there, though. Okay, let's get you guys get pushed up this way a little bit. You guys are running out of ammo. I'm going to try and see. I can get you just close enough for this. Because now, at least, we have it so yeah, there we go. Cargan can get that buff from you. And the defense is there, so you just support him. You support him. I'll give you some more casting back here to do some more damage. But yeah, with the com combo of the uh, dragon being shot at with my cannons, and now Cargan winning that fight there, you guys should be okay. And basically, I'll keep uh, buffing you guys, get you some heals. You guys may try and help out against that Caribbeus, I guess. Same with you guys. Try and get over here. How about that, Mr. Clean? Are the gates done? Yeah, they are. Okay, so now I can have you guys push on in here. Try and fuck up a caster, too. Yeah, Mr. Clean, make your way around. Let's get some... Actually, I have the, the boil explosion. Let's get that. That way we can get some damage in on here on the blobs. Uh, did you cast that? Yeah, you did. Okay, so we did cast that. There you go. Oh, that's a good amount of damage there. Keep, oh, keep debuffing these guys. Get some more healing. Yeah, focus on the lords there. Uh, that dragon came back. Can you not? Although, if you come down now, you're dead, because this thing's going to fuck you up. Yeah, Cav. Let's see, those are Dread Spears. You should be fine against Dread Spears. Get some healing on my infantry round here. Debuff that dragon. Yeah, you guys then just start uh, trying to fight that. I could have you guys go after the dragon, but I don't think I need to. Basically, I'm going to try and have you guys start trying to run back here with the cav. Try and help them out. I'll keep trying to debuff back here and just cast random shit to get some healing on the army. The Lord's dead there. You guys push forward. Yeah, cav, you guys will easily win against a basic dread spear. I just need to try and get you guys to hit this. Because they're taking a good amount of damage so far. I know my guys are a little beat up. I'm going to try and get you... Let's see. Those are hand bows. Let's try and get you... Hit these guys. Mr. Clean. You'll kind of just start to try and push forward a little bit more. Keep debuffing. Keep debuffing to keep healing us. But yeah, you guys just yeah go around the side and just hit these guys. Basically take that point so then they don't have the uh, barricades here. Because once they lose those barricades, then my heroes can easily get on in here. And get rid of the bolt throwers. And then I'm going to just have you just generic. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not losing one stupid-ass unit for this fight. No way in hell. We, we, we'll be fine there. So now, we've got you guys. This is now the end of Rakarth. Rakarth is now dead. Now we get to have it so... I'll probably turn around for a second start trying to uh, go get rid of uh, those dwarves I saw. Get rid of those guys. Then I'll have it so... Basically, I think my army is around here. I'll try and have them deal with um, Marcus Wolfhart. Like, take him out. Because basically, they're just conquering whatever I've destabilized with Tamarcon. While Tamarcon goes beelines to Nuln. That's the basic job for you guys. Is just keep conquering in the name of Nurgle. While Tamarcon is trying to fulfill his final job of, hey, going to Nuln, getting our military victory com uh, complete. Because we're almost there. Uh, definitely, you should be able to sack and occupy. Yeah, you can. So, yeah, you occupy this. And then I'll have it so yeah, Zorgul, make your way up. That way you can get some replenishment. But, uh, those guys are now dead. But yeah, I think what I will do is uh, I'll go down around here, hit these guys, and then I'm probably just going to start a war with the Bretonians around here too, because why not? 
Tamarcon. He ran like a bitch! Stop running like a bitch. Okay, we'll just do hit other things. Yeah, there's Mazda Moonday. Of course he's gonna run like a little bitch. <sighs> okay, uh, you just go kill this guy, please. Hopefully you take him out, because I don't want to deal with this fucker. I don't want to deal with him at all. If I have to, I can spawn another army around here to deal with you guys. Uh, let's see, rank ups. Mr. Clean. Gain that. Let's say to get more weapon damage, or melee attack. Get more control, and then I can put you on auto manage. You need charge bonus. And then John the Unclean. Again, I need to get some more... Oh, actually, movement, actually. I want to get this. I just need to get him more levels in general. Okay, and then this one. You're the one that's trying to spread plague. So, try and spread it over here. So, try and spread that over there. And then... Okay, so my allies took this territory. Good. So now I... We'll keep trying to push forward, but I'll just keep selling this land over to the forces of... Oh, there's an army there. I think it should be okay. Um, basically, just keep trying to sell these lands to the forces of the Chaos Dwarves. I think that'll be fine. I don't necessarily want to control these just right now. I think it's fine. Damn it, don't come after John the Unclean! I'm trying to withdraw if I can, get close to my allies here. Yeah, there we go, good. Because that I, I didn't notice that ar army originally. Um, I was double checking the uh, poll right now. It does seem like the trend is so far. Most people still just want me to go with the original plan. Twenty-one votes now, slowly going up. But most people said fifty-seven percent as me looking at this. It's still that. But I'll, 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 we'll see how it's going to be like once we get to the next video. And I feel like it's probably just going to be, hey, just keep going with the original idea. Because I still think we can have like a pretty de a fun campaign with epidemias. Just going all demons, spread plagues. It's very different than what I'm trying to do right now. Because the, the, trying to make sure I get all the fealty with everybody. And in this campaign, I'm not worrying too much about conquering things with Tamarcon. He's just beelining to Nuln right now. That's his job. Everybody else is just like, well, we're going to conquer because why not? Ah, good. Finally, I can just get rid of this army now. Uh, give me the extra money. I know with Epidemius, though, we're actually probably trying to be conquering more stuff and keeping it under our control more. Okay, now I can get rid of that. Where are you guys at? You guys are down over here. Okay, so you did go towards Rumil. Which Rumil actually has a pretty decent chance against both of you, actually. Yeah, those guys are dead. Let's go get rid of that army, because I, I don't need this army. I just made you because... Because I don't want to have to deal with this. Disband all these guys. And we make a shit ton more money. There we go. So, you've got that. You... If I force march... I don't think you guys will be able to run away from this. Because then I can do this. Pure victory. It doesn't have the other army in range. Uh, that's actually fine, though. I can lose one of those guys. And get one of them back pretty easily. So, we'll grab the punishment. Because now we can just have it so... You have to be in your own territory, though, for that. Um, I'm just going to back you up here. Oh, you're still taking attrition. Uh, it's okay. Some people are taking attrition, but not everybody. And then I can just have it so... Let's see. Grab this guy. That'll be fine. Because yeah, these guys all have the regen stuff too. So I think that's fine there. Oh, I can just get regen from that. Oh, nice. Okay, you guys get your war shrine there. Uh, you... Just try and follow around with him. And I'll have it so that basically you guys will be pushing into the uh, spine of Sotek soon. Well, if you guys do that, these guys will start trying to group up over here, too. So, go there and there. And then... Yeah, Mazda, just ignore Mazda Moonday. Where is his next biggest city? Because we still need to make sure we do enough damage to him before we leave this area. So, we just still need to keep trying to hit more Lizardman stuff around here. This one I can definitely sack and occupy. 
Because once I, I think once I have the field team max, then we take Epidemius. Out. No, sorry, Epidemius. Uh, then we take Tamarcon out of here. Because at this point in time right now, you need 11 more fights. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, because I need a little bit more. And I want to make sure that Ep Tamarcon is the one gathering. Okay, so they control up to Vol's Anvil. I want to make sure he's the one getting the fealty for us. So, keep just conquering this stuff. Because essentially, they'll try their best to stop me. But they're not going to be able to really do that with uh, Tamarcon, at least. So, you're good there. John the Unclean, yeah, so the eye was pushed back. I don't know where that army went. Is this one? Was it that army? No, I think that one is a, is a different one. But I can just start having you start trying to push on in here to try and take some territory. And we'll start trying to have it so we can get to use some experience. So if you occupy this area. And we'll try and sell it over to my allies, I think, next turn. All these Nurglings, though, also, please merge them together. And just to get more to replace them, I'd say. Well, actually... Let's just put more... I, I have more money now, so I'm going to get more of you guys. Just so we can have more demons in this army. So just get stronger demons there. So you guys can do that. This area... I could actually keep it for myself. I could keep the smoke spread. Or we can just sell it. We could just try and sell it. But then if I control this stuff, it's kind of awkward again. Why didn't I just bring Tamarcon up this way? Uh, it's a little awkward. Uh, I, if anything at all, one reason why I would want to make sure is so that I can do this. I can just spread plagues. So, one back goal spread. Because that way we can start trying to infect this area, start spreading plague. I might just keep this fucking territory. Have it basically so you focus on trying to control more of this yourself, uh, John the Unclean, so you can start trying to build up a bit more around here. Let's see, Rumel. Let's get some more weapon damage. Let's see, get this stuff here. You need to get more damage too, Quicksilver. Is that just speed? Yeah, just speed. Then I'm going to get you more health, because you do have reach. Uh, you need to keep getting more of this here, so you've maxed all the unique stuff you've got for you. You need more gate stuff there. Man thing. Actually, so you... Why is it not letting me do that anymore? That's weird. Um, okay. Uh, get this. You need more. Well, actually... Like, again, what the fuck? I don't... Why is this now not letting me do that? That's so weird. That's just strange. Yeah, it won't let me undo them. Undo assigned skill points. This one should come back. That's so fucking weird. It's... I hope that's a bug because this is an older save. Because that's really weird. And of course, you keep coming back here, Mazdamundi. I want to fight you, but also, your trait's not that amazing, so it's fine. You can take that if you want. I'll eventually get back up there with the rest of my forces. I, I still could have it, so... I know I want to have it so that it's basically ta a Tamarcon's the one getting the Fiatu. But also, I should just have him beeline towards Nol. Everybody else can, like, get the fealty for us. I'm actually starting to get to the point, like, right now, I have enough money, I might make another army. Because at this point in time right now... I just want the expansion to be faster down south, basically. Because Damarcon is making his way over. I'll have him just be line, I think. I can get the fealty from every other people. But it would just be faster if he was the one hitting them. Let's, let's see. So. Yeah, back over here. Because yeah, you took that. Tamarcon. Let's see. Let's have you hit Swamp Town. Because basically, I just want you to keep hitting like one of these per turn. Keep hitting areas. Slowly making your way up over that way. Because now we're up to 10. So we need 10 more fights with Lizardmen that we win. Back over here, let's see. So okay, you need to go into encampment stance. Interesting that one army, one unit was doing fine, but the other one wasn't. Okay, let's get you... Start trying to group up around here. Let's see if you guys are encampment stance together. Because at the moment, let's see, so... Oh, those are just all miners. You guys should be fine. I just need Rumil to be able to recover a little bit more. Um, I have these two guys in your army. What can I do with that? 
you can give uh, interesting. Huh. For any armies in the same province. And the use gives enables stalking stance for the army. Interesting. And I might just have you guys just kind of chill there for a bit to kind of recover. I know these guys. It looks like you might want to try and hit me here at Blood Hall. I kind of do want to make another army. Honestly, we'll, we'll wait until I have more built up, though. Because we are slowly having it so that my economy is doing better. Slowly building it up in all my other regions, I think, for right now. Yeah, if you guys want to hit that, that's fine. I would say... I actually probably should avoid fighting the Bretonians for our Bordello for right now. But I would say I can get you guys up here. Let's get you guys to help out up here. Because let's just focus on people we are at war with right now. You guys can go up that way. Then we have John the Unclean. Uh, multiple armies making their way towards you. So... Let's see. Yeah, it's still able to hit that spot. I want you to pull back. Because I still can't borrow an army yet. No, I can't. Not enough points yet. If we're going to just chill next to anybody, let's chill next to Astrogoth. He's a stronger dude, so let's go have you chill over here for right now. Possibly going to lose a uh, bulk scred. Try it, though. Derosa. Yeah, so for the most part, yeah, you've now done a good loop around here. So we now know what the Lizardmen now control. I now need to just get over there more again with Tamarcon. Because I'll have it so that probably... Let's see, so next turn... Because yeah, we're going to want to go about this. I still want to hit a little bit of this land, but we might have it so the Tamarcon hits Port Reaver next turn. Then I think he hit Ziggurat of Dawn, Skeggy, then he sets sail. And I might ignore Vol's Anvil and now just like properly set sail over this way. And then I'll probably go through, um, I'm not at war with you guys actually. I'm not worth war with the Empire just yet, which is kind of funny that I'm not at war with them just yet. You guys can keep hitting these all you really want, it's fine. Because at least right now Tamarcon is still weakening you guys. Although actually, I think I might have enough movement, I might hit that army instead. I know, I, Tamarcon should go to Nalm. Leave everything else to everybody else. Because I, I I could have, I, I like, I default to wanting to have Tamarcon take out, like, high-value targets. Because he's such a strong army. But also, that's not the point of what Tamarcon's trying to do. So take all the land you want there, guys. That's fine. Most of my territory that I have making me money is in uh, Cathay anyways. So, like, I don't care about losing that territory. I'm just expanding there just because. Because I think we should just have it so the uh, Tamarcon will just keep pushing forward. Should be about like three turns, roughly. And then he'll be out of this area and he'll start sailing. Because. Let's see, so back over here. Yeah, so like I lost that territory. Tamarcon can't hit it. But he can hit uh, Port Reaver. So yeah, we'll keep making my way up here. Keep hitting these territories. And if anything, all, like, I'm still going to be able to do good damage to these guys because I spread a pretty good amount of Nurgle corruption when we take this stuff. So, Tamarcon, yeah, I'll just have to keep going one at a time. Just keep pushing up here until you can set sail. That's what you're going to do. Uh, he didn't take this territory, which is good for us. It means Mr. Clean. Everybody has a chance to get up here. So, Mr. Clean and Zorgul. Make your way there. Uh, these, let's see. Are you guys allied with anybody? No. And they are starting to take damage around here because the plague spread. I think I've recovered enough right now. So I think we can have it so... Let's hit these guys. They have no allies. So I can very easily start that. And then, let's see. If I move just a little bit closer. How is it now? I would lose... Lose that guy again. Um, Fane. We can get those guys back and just get different units instead. That way, at least, we now get these guys. So, uh, you definitely have enough to move them to sack and occupy. So, we'll have you occupy the city. And then Rumil. I'm going to get rid of the Feral Mammoth. I'm going to get rid of the Feral Mammoth, and I'm going to have it so that you guys actually... Grab those guys. 
Uh, basically, I'll just get you all these units. I'll get you the dragons in this one. So, get you guys the frost dragons. And then we need three more units, which I would probably say... Uh, we can just get some exalted plague bears. There. So, yeah, now those dwarves are now dead. Now we'll have this area under our control. Get the growth stuff there. And then I'll try and have it so that for right now we'll ignore the Bretonians for right now. I'll say that you guys... Well, we could start that war with them. Tempted to. Very tempted to. But also, I think I should make... Because I actually might split you off into your own army. Because right now... Let's see. So you give... You boost melee units. And then these guys give you the more melee attack and charge bonus. I, I kind of do want to split you off into your own army. So, I think we should do that. Because then I can have it so, um... I don't... I can't do anything like that right now. I want... Like, once I can get this... Uh, that gives me access to heroes some units? No? Doesn't it? Oh, I did. Yeah, because, like, basically, once I can recruit some heroes around here... Let's see. Yeah, because... Grab that... Then I can get some heroes around here. I can then have it so that we can basically... We'll make a new army. We can make a new army where um, I will splinter off Mornhowl into his own force. And then I'll put a Exalted of Nurgle in here uh, to kind of replace you. And then that army will be using the unit specifically that you boost, I think. So we'll do that. So that, that will be a good way to kind of go about it, I think. So you guys are going to be chilling there. John the Unclean. They did not push forward. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just follow around Astrogoth for a little bit until we recover. This army is just kind of try and recover right now because they're just beat up. Uh, let's see. So this is for Rumel specifically. Rumel, you don't actually have any bonuses for any of your units. But then again, oh no, we can we can upgrade like um. Where are they? Yeah, we can upgrade you guys. You guys can get some better bonuses here. Get some more melee damage for the uh, missile damage for the ranged units there. Uh, let's have you get Infernal Champion. More health, more health. You get all that maxed out. Replenish troops for sure. Upgrade the Gate of Nurgle. Then we need to go to Reddit CO. Let's see. So for you, I will. Is this just any time? Yeah, it just has a cooldown. Um, affects all enemies. I do kind of like that one. The, the defense one's not bad, though, too. I'm going to go with this. Go with that. And then this army. You've got a lot of big things in this army. So you're already upgrading the trolls and everything. Yeah, we'd probably want to get... Uh... Well, you have a different one. Huh. Interesting. Huh. You have a different red line. That was not what I was expecting. Huh. So I was going to say, like, try and upgrade, uh, get the weapon damage, or the range damage for you guys. I'll probably, let's see, this already gets all the things I'm using. <laughs> okay. That's awkward. Well, you've got... No, you don't. Uh, yeah, okay. Victory Interesting. Well, let's just get the Nurgle Corruption then. Get the Nurgle Corruption. You... I'm going to go with the... Yeah, I want to give you one melee defense. No defense, no defense, no defense, uh, armor, and then that's good for all of you guys right there. Okay, yeah, I'll try. I'll try and have more areas around here that are gonna be able to recruit heroes because then I can split off and make those additional armies essentially, and then that's all my armies, right? Yeah, 
because you guys have already moved. You've already did your thing. John the Unclean is just waiting about. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, this is why I thought I was going to lose this here. That's okay. I almost wonder if I want to make another army over near John. John the Unclean, if he should get another army around him. They think we only sacked that. Because um, now that the Nemesis Crown has been sealed, I don't have as much of a reason to kind of go up around there. Essentially, the only reason I made that army over there was to try and get the Nemesis Crown. If it doesn't pop back up, like, I might not have John do much around there. Um, I wanted him to get the Nemesis Crown, because him being a great unclean one uh, and having the Nemesis Crown would have been really fun, because I think that if I'm correctly, Nemesis, uh, the great unclean ones get a the Morris engine effect on them. So having that would have been great, uh, so that he could have had double Morris engine effects, essentially. I might have to, like, remake uh, John the Unclean and, like, put that into uh, the Epidemius campaign, basically. I'll have to kind of see about that. Because I, I know this campaign, it's not going to take us that much longer to finish this one up. This is episode 11, I think. Um, you guys stack that. Because, yes, Orgul, back over here, guys. Yeah, this army didn't even run. Okay, so you can finish him off. Don't don't run away. Finish him off. Uh, give me the extra money. There we go. And then Zorgul. So let's try and drop off over here. Essentially, uh, go run this way. Go run this way. Try and go for that wellspring. You can try and go over there, Mister Clean. Um, explore the island. Give me the extra money. Yeah, so I'll have it so that Mr. Clean, I'll have you try and replenish a little bit. Do you replenish in the sea around here? I can't tell, but you'll get some replenishment during the end turn. There go. A little bit more money there. And then, let's see. Tamarcon. See, these guys count as one fight or two? Because I know I want to try and hit you guys. Let's see. Let's hit this guy because they can't run. Is I'll get rid of a little bit more of your forces. And it counts again towards this. Ooh, actually, I'm just going to hit you. Because again, we're trying to get the fealty as much as we possibly can, so let's just kill these these armies. Then I'll turn back around and go for that one city. I'm not going to be able to hit it this turn. But at least Tamarcon is able to do a good amount of damage. There we go. Okay, you'll be able to hit the Ziggurat of Dawn next turn. And that at least means like this area is a little bit safer here. Now that we've been able to kind of do some more damage to their armies. Now we only need uh, seven more battles. So each of these will two more. So I'll need five more after that. We got Tamarcon. You keep making your way there. Rumil. So yeah, you guys will be able to move out of this area. We'll start trying to basically... I wonder if I should avoid these guys. I think if I'm going to do anything... Uh, these guys don't hate me. I actually. guarantee your safety. Uh, you don't hate me that much, you don't, but you don't like me that much either. So I was going to say, maybe I should start trying to go towards Itza. Have you guys kind of... Because it's also uh, raiding? Yeah, it's raiding. Um, I would like to... Yeah, do encampment stance. Because let's, let's make my way over here. I'll kind of walk up an encampment stance. Up this way. We defile the power. And let's just try and like, hit these territories. You're probably going to declare war on me at some point soon. I don't know when. But basically, let's try and at least hit more of uh, the Huntsman Expedition first. Try and do that. And then, who else do I have to move? Uh, John the Unclean. But at the moment right now, there's a lot of armies over there. Although, Astrogoth abandoned me like a little bitch! Honestly, I might... Yeah, let's, let's sell it. Let's sell Volkswagen. So let's see, so trade settlement. Looks red. Holy shit. Holy shit! <laughs> I can get 41k for that. Gladly. Damn, dude! Yeah, I'm I'm not staying around here. I'm gonna just be trying to get money. So let's do this. So... Let's kind of go back a little bit. We'll have John the Unclean kind of go back up and around. And try and hit this territory a little bit. Because uh, that's a lot more money than uh, I'm used to getting from the AI. So gladly I want to just keep maybe selling some more stuff to them. So you can get some more weapon damage or melee attack there. Uh, let's have you get the reduced attrition. 
Then you get this to reduce the upkeep on your units a little bit. Um, I can't. Why is it now not letting me do that? That's weird. Um, charge bonus there. Mornhow health. Zorgul mentor. Do grab that. Let's see. You could just keep maxing out your uh, spells there. John the Unclean. Let's have you. You can grab this since we've got a lot of uh, greater demons in your army there. Barossa. Yeah, so at the moment. Do they control the inner sections too? They do. That's so weird to me that the Lizardmen are on the donut. You and Bo is now pushing on in here once again. That's fine. Uh, I'm about to now be able to get out of here, though, with Tamarcon. So, like, all Tamarcon, hit the Ziggur out of Dawn, and then Skeggy next turn. So, like, we're getting there. And essentially, what I'll probably do is, another way we can get this up faster, is over here. Hey, you're at about full health. So now I can add you Raid. So Raid through this area now. You're still recovering, but basically that will also help us get this up faster. So just raid, keep making your way up around there. Still, and about two turns I'll be able to actually like make a, get those heroes so I can make another army. So I'll keep trying to do that. Uh, Mr. Clean, do you recover while you're at sea in this area? You do. Okay, good. Because I know some areas you do if it's considered like our territory. Can't hit this territory this turn, but you can at least disembark. And you'll be able to hit that next turn. I say you guys will be basically trying to clear up things down around here in the south. Um, let's see. You mentor heroes. And yeah, we basically have all vision over this so far. I'll probably be able to avoid a war with you. I don't think I'm gonna have to fight you guys. And then is that it already? Like I know. Oh, yep. Yeah, you guys pushed back towards my allies. You guys are take Ooh. Ooh. You are taking some good damage, though. I do think, though, I... I have so many infections now at this point in time. Like, uh, not that one. I want to do... Not the upkeep one. And moon range, ammunition, and Nurgle corruption. And I'll infect you... So essentially, we'll try and have it so that yeah, you guys affect this army and just trying to keep infecting stuff around here. Yeah, you keep backing up around here. Because I can literally just make so many plagues now at this point. Can I infect allies, or is it just, does it have to be. You guys already have plagues around there? Yeah, I don't have good areas to, like, want to infect my stuff. Although, I should probably still make some more plagues over here. So we can try and maybe go with, uh that around here so you guys have easier time trying to develop these areas. I just have so many infections now. It is really easy to try and make uh, plagues down around here. I can just keep randomly spreading them all over the place. It doesn't really matter what. Just keep getting three at a time into different areas. Just spread them out a little bit more. But like, infect you. You. Uh, I can put Zorgul. Get him one. And then I probably should infect also, uh... We can do it on the Ziggurat of Dawn right now. Oh yeah, Tamarcon. Either one, really. Oh, I can't make another plague right now. Damn! We're almost there. Almost there. But, I think, let's do at least one more turn, I think, then we'll be done for today. Because that's at least I'm going to be, I'm going to be at Skaggy. I'm going to be ready to set sail. Basically, today was just... Uh, getting John the Unclean in position. We spread... We basically, hey, we, we the Nemesis Crown has now been sealed. I'm hoping it pops back up. It's probably not going to. Next uh, turn, I'll be able to, like... Or turn after, actually. I'll be able to set sail around here. I'm going to ignore the donut. Because, for the most part, we're, we're going to... We're almost there for fealty. I'm just going to beeline... We'll drop off over around in Bretonia. Push on up through here. And then just go straight for normal. So, it might be the next video... Our video after that we finish this campaign, possibly. Ah, uh, another one added to the bunch. I love how literally anybody that could kind of be somewhat Nurgle aligned, I love how they're allied to me. Absolutely love that. We're just getting every Nurgle buddy to work together for Papa Nurgle. 
We've got Epidemius, we got Tamarcon, got Kugath. Lord Skrulk is kind of somewhat associated at times, I know. Uh, but no, hey, we got all of them. They randomly have, like, fucking um, Throg and then Astrogoth helping us, too. But I do love that, like, pretty much anybody that's kind of Nurgle related, or would maybe work with Nurgle, uh, is. Let's see there, more infections from buildings. I have so many infections already, though, guys. Yeah, let's see, see you guys. I do appreciate how much damage you guys are taking from that. I'm going to have it so the, like, John, you just, yeah, kind of sneak up around here. You're going to go try and go for other areas. So you'll try and do that. Tamarcon, though, can now hit this. Take Skeggy, and then he is ready to set sail. I'll sack and occupy it. We have plenty of movement for that with Tamarcon right now. And he's ready to set sail, and we'll be beelining straight for Bretonia next video. It might be next video that we finish up this campaign. Because I know I need only four more things with this. So we almost, at this point in time now, have the fealty we need for all of my guys. And like all my armies here are like pushing on in nicely. Like you're doing that. Mr. Clean, you're trying to go back. I think if you go here, you'll still be able to replenish. Yeah. Yeah, that was just so controlled. Yeah, so if you go up here, you'll be able to hit that territory. And then I can now these guys as well yeah because if I if I do some raiding we'll also be able to get that fealty up here so we just need to have it so that like honestly oh you can't get close enough I was gonna say if you can get close enough I could have you try and start raiding this spot here but no just be in encampment stance be right here you guys keep pushing forward and I think I can almost make that oh no actually I'd be able to now perfect this area right here allows me to do exactly what I want so um Need a cultist. I'll go with you. Cultist we need an exalted hero. Let's go with the unholy strike. The and then we need. I'll go with the chaos sorcerer because it's going to be more Norskin themed, anyways. So they'll have go with you. And then I can just make a random lord here. And you know what? I'll grab you. I'll grab you. You can be the new army here. And I'll basically just give you a bunch of... Uh, so essentially the units you grab are these guys. You'll then grab... Uh, does he get boost chosen too? Yeah, because you'll get into, into this army. Yeah, he does boost chosen. So he does boost chosen. So I can have you grab... Let's grab just the normal chosen. Normal chosen there. And then I want to get some knights too. So grab that at least. And probably should grab some uh, soul grinders or something like that. So grab some soul grinders. But some of these units will be replaced. Because there's supposed to be like five other units here. So actually, I'm going to merge the knights together. So there's three of them. Three chosen. Yeah, that, that should work. That should work. But I will be done for today now at this point in time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love what you guys have to say about this campaign. If you something in general, let's ramp in. I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to merge the knights together. So there's three of them.